Hello and welcome back. What we have here today is a mid-range smartphone from a brand you may have never heard of. This is the Honor 9 unboxing video. The Honor 9 sells for right around 450-ish bucks and for that money you will struggle to find a better smartphone. I will review this phone in a separate video though. Today we will just take a look at the packaging. From what we can see here, the packaging is a bit better than the low cost manufacturers like Xiaomi, but it doesn't really match up with the big brands. When you open this vertically oriented box, you are greeted with the device, which is about to fall out about any second if you are not careful enough, and then another box is included. The device alone, as you can see here, is very shiny. This particular model I have here is in silver color and the back is really really shiny. The back is made from the glass as well as the front and the device is really really slippery and you just want to protect it with a case otherwise it will slide off your hands and even slide off your drawers and shelves and tables. It's just really really slippery device. Also in the box included comes the warranty card. When we slide the big box out of the main one, there was a weird piece of paper inside, but I don't think it's really supposed to be there. The box that was next to the device opens up a bit like the Samsung Galaxy S8 box, which is definitely adds to the experience. When you open the box, there is another one waiting for you with a SIM card tray tool in the middle. This box includes only the manual book, there is nothing else inside to be found. This phone has expandable storage with an SD card located in the SIM card tray, so you will most likely use that one. You can also use this phone as a dual SIM device. Let me just quickly put this back inside and we shall take a look at the rest of the included goodies. Under that we have the Huawei a European charger as well as the USB Type-C charging cable. Overall the packaging follows the same strategy as the device. That would be save money on the pieces that are not necessary while still looking good. Like the box that phones come with, it's not really a necessary feature of the phone. One last point before signing off. Not only this device is really really slippery, it also is one of the biggest magnets on fingerprints I've ever seen in my life on its big glass. You can't get rid of them, that's another thing or another point why you should definitely get a case with this device. Thanks for watching and see you next time.